Hi everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements with a project that's about oh, seven minutes long. Not a really long project. But what happens if I don't want to output this entire seven minutes? As you can see, this is a pretty long and complicated project. What if I want to just output the best uh, 30 seconds of it? Or there's just a scene in there that I want to grab that's a couple of minutes long, and I don't want to output the whole movie. How do I output just a segment of the movie? To do that is very simple. It has to do with the work area bar. Now, the work area bar is this bar that runs along the top of the timeline. You can see it is light gray. And you notice, by default, it automatically grows and shrinks as you build your movie. Now we can set that work area bar just by grabbing these endpoints here to cover only a segment of our movie. Say there was a segment right here that I wanted to output. I didn't want to output my whole movie. I just want to output this small segment. I'm defining it with these endpoints here of the work area bar. I can preview that and make sure that's exactly what I want. And it is. I can see the beginning and the end. This is what I want to output. Then I go to export and share. And when I select my option to output, you'll notice that I have the option here to share work area bar only. Now that means only the area defined by the work area bar. If I select that, I'm not going to put a, output my entire seven minute movie. I'm only going to output that those few seconds there that are defined by that work area bar. And you're going to find this in a number of places. As you can see, if I look under TV, if I look under mobile, if I look under online, you know, it, the option appears here also. So I can output only a portion of my movie to go online. You won't see it under disk, of course. And you won't see it under quick export, but under virtually any of the other options for outputting, you'll find the option to share the work area bar only. Now, one thing I have to warn you about manually setting the position of the work area bar. Once you do that, the work area bar is not going to lock to the length of your movie anymore. So as you add to and subtract from your movie, the work area bar is not going to automatically grow, even if you were to set the beginning and end points at the length of your movie. But you can automatically set your work area bar to snap to the length of your movie. And all you got to do to do that is go right above the little ticker here where the numbers are on your timeline, double click, and the work area bar will automatically snap to cover your entire movie again. That's the work area bar, and that's how you output a segment of your movie. Now, if you want to know more about this program, check out the many tips and tutorials we have at MoviePix.com. Want to know every single thing there is to know about Premiere Elements, be sure and check out the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available on Amazon.com, and I wrote the book. Hope to see you at MoviePix. I'm Steve Grisetti. Take care.